Okay, well, um, last in the last video, we installed uh, PFSense 2.7 and configured it and got to work with our virtual network. Um, but uh, right now, it just works with a, a WAN and, and LAN. Um, actually, here, you can see, when I say that, like, um, PFSense works out of the box with, when you install it, well, this is because there's specific rules that it... it, it um, that it configures, and I, it, I had a hard time figuring this out when I first started, uh, working with PFSense, but here you can see, um, there's, uh, here's when there's, uh, wait, oh, unable to connect. Okay, we may have to, like, get it to, to work again. Um, Set interface IP address. One dot one twenty four. Uh, yes. Two dot one six eight dot one dot two hundred. I screwed it up. Okay, let's try it again. Um, two, no, two, one, six, eight, dot, one, twenty four. One, I two, one, six, eight. 1.100 192.168.200 Okay, let's see if it works now. Okay, works. Okay, uh, gonna go to the rules here. So here, like, when it, it has, like, uh, blocks private networks, it blocks Bogon networks. Uh, with LAN, there's three rules. It has an anti-lockout rule, so no matter what happens, because you know that the rules go from, like, top dot down. So if I add another rule that says that, uh, um, block, uh, block all ports, then it'll be overruled by this, that, um, it allows port 80, so I can't get locked out of, of, of the, uh, PFSense web interface. Um, but here, there's a default, uh, land to any rule, uh, for IPv4, so it allows any... And allows any IPv4 network out. Um, it allows an IPv any LAN IPv6 address out. Um, so this allows the LAN to access the the WAN, and so it allows allows um, allows um, you to access uh, any other any other network. Um, so here, yeah, like uh, so here, th this is uh, on the net on the internet. It's it's available because of of this these two rules. Well, actually, this rule because there's it's an IPv4. It's we're using IPv4 addresses. Um, so that's why uh, that's why this works. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to do for this video. 
is to uh, power down the network and um, add a DMZ network, add a network adapter to this to this network to uh, for uh, to uh, for D demilitarize own DMZ and um, maybe add some rules so the DMZ can access um, the internet other networks basically um, so I gotta I gotta do halt system here um, do you want to proceed yes Time okay, let's down. So now we've in. I'm going to preferences, I'm going to network. Oh, wait, DMZ network was here already. So, yeah, I have DMZ network here. Network name is DMZ network. Network CIDR is 192.168.2.0, WAC 24. It does not support DHCP because we want uh, PFSense to provide uh, DHCP service. Um, so it's, it's as it should be. Um, so I'm going into uh, settings here. Um, so it has the nat network, it has the LAN network here. I changed this to LAN network because it's obviously what it is. Um, so I'm going to add uh, another network, another network interface here. Um, and it's going to be NAT network, and it's going to be DMZ network. So I'm going to add this, and I'm going to power it back up. So... So booting. Let's see, so um, it has to get the interfaces uh, configured. So let's see what happens here. Starting DNS resolvers. This should take a while. Um, oh, now it's bootstrapping the clock. So, see the. So now it should be close to done. So there now, it has the the WAN network and the LAN network. So I want to add a new interface. To this, so I'm gonna do sign interfaces. Um, should be able to be set up now. Um, no, but I I should like specify that uh, it has has set up a VLAN on on the command line interface, but uh, not not doing it now. Um, enter the WAN interface name here EM zero. Enter the LAN interface EM one. Enter the optional one interface, EM2. Uh, yes. Oh, wait. That didn't work. Let's try again. Assign interfaces. No. EM0, EM1, EM2. See, I think I screwed up here. Sign interfaces. No. EM0. EM1. E, EM2. Yes. 
One moment while settings are reloading. Done. Um, so now it should have uh, when land with IP addresses, but no IP address for opt one. So here you can see when has an IP address, LAN has an IP address, opt one does not have an IP address. So we'll choose to set interfaces IP address do two. Um, number I'm uh, gonna select three configure IP before address opt opt one interface to be DCP no uh, we'll do 192.168.2.1 whack 24 um, for when enter the uh, uh, let's see do this Configure IPv6 address opt one interface with DCP6. No. Um, no. If you want to enable the DCP server, yeah, we'll do this. Uh, 2.168. I'll do the same as, as the other one, only with two instead of one. 192.168.2.100 192.168.2.200 Please wait while it change your save to opt1 Um Okay, we'll see if this works Hmm It's not working So, let's try again. Sign interfaces. Uh. Sign interface IP address. Two. Yes. not working oh here yeah okay it works um okay so here you can see it's, it has opt one as a password so we can go in and change it to um We'll change the DMZ. Um, IP configuration type of stack IP four IPv four. Um, so it has stack IP four configuration one ninety two dot one six eight dot two dot one seems okay. Um, IPv four upstream gateway none. Um, and Let's see, block private networks, block Bogon networks not selected. That seems okay. So I'm going to do, uh, going to save this. And I'm going to do apply changes. And now you see DM, DMC is, is, is the interface. Um, let's see, save so rules here. Um, so let's 
see. Let's check this this rule. Edit this rule. Um, let's see. I'm probably I'm gonna do try to copy this and change the interface to DMZ. The rest of this looks okay, so we'll do save. Oh, you know, sources land, and yeah, it should be a, yeah, should change this to, uh, from land net to DMZ net. DMZ net. Oh, change the description here. Default allow. DMZ to any rule. Apply changes. And uh, let's see, we copy this. Interface DMZ. Source DMZ net. Default allow DMZ IPv6 to any rule. So yeah, now we we we've added DMZ, and uh, we've added uh, we've added two rules that. Um, allow that um allow dmz to any rule so actually this should be a above this um so yeah actually the, the, it's one more rule you should copy copy Save, apply changes. Um, so our anti lockout rule for for uh, for this. Um, yeah. So anyway, we had, we had a DMZ um, so that's it for this video. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and if you find this video of some use to you, then, uh, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.